Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the 13th chapter of microwave engineering where the various parameters associated with the microwave signal generated and further propagated in to the microwave test bench or the microwave system you can say are to be measured. So the different techniques we are addressing for these different parameters here. So we have seen the comparison how the difference is there when we switch from low frequency signal to the high frequency signal for the measurement of all these parameters here into the first video. Next to that the VSWR measurement techniques the most popular for the higher value of VSWR that it is the double minima method we have discussed and solved four problems on two. Just now we have completed the power measurements and introduction to the power meter there. Now let us have the frequency measurement to be addressed in this topic. So as we have the topic frequency measurement, so I must get it clear that the frequency here is specific to the microwave range here. So for the microwave range, we have the frequency values from 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz here. So now as stated into the very first topic, we can have several number of techniques with the help of which we can have the frequency calculated here. When we work with the rectangular waveguide, so rectangular waveguide, so this is the rectangular waveguide, the cavity is of rectangular cross section for the inside dimension here. So while we work into the practical microwave test bench, we mostly prefer instead of rectangular waveguide, a slotted line. So it is basically the rectangular waveguide, but it is having the insertion slot so that we can have a mounting or the insertion of the detector mount to enable detector inside the cavity space here for the measurement purpose this year. Now when we have such a sensor I can say which is basically the monopole antenna measuring the strength of the various field vectors or the standing wave pattern can also be generated by these particular values here. So that time we can have the measurements and as we know that we have the voltage levels to be calculated so these parameters somehow related to the another parameters will be giving us the frequency calculations or with respect to the dominant mode of propagation in general what we talk about the TE10 board we know the dimensions physical A by B here the cutoff wavelength is equal to twice A that can result into the value of cutoff frequency also. So this or some another way we can get to the value of the frequency of the operative microwave signal inside the transmission line for example rectangular or the circular cavity. Now further the broad classification or the categorization of the frequency measurement techniques can be in terms of the electronic and the mechanical here. The generalized block diagram for the calculation of the unknown frequency value was also discussed that it was if we use the low frequency signal generator. So we have the low frequency signal generator giving us the known value of frequency generated that can be denoted by F sub C which is fed as input to the harmonic generator. So the harmonic generator along with the low frequency generator will be giving us the actual signal with the known value of frequency here. So for the harmonic generator we represent this one and this is the known signal we can say and when we use a mixer. So mixer paired with this known frequency signal here along with another input of unknown value of the frequency signal. So that time the resultant of this particular mixer will be the intermediate frequency which is basically the difference of this known and the unknown frequency value. 
so from that comparison also we can have the value of the unknown frequency measured here so this type of technique is supposed to be categorized under the electronic type here as we require the electronic devices low frequency signal generator harmonic generator the mixer here the another way is also the mechanical that we shall be discussing now so for the mechanical type in general if we consider this is a rectangular waveguide so let us say this is port 1 of rectangular waveguide and this is port 2 of rectangular waveguide so in the passage of microwave signal from port 1 to port number 2 there it is the use of cavity resonator so here we have the assembly having this much of cavity so in this cavity from a knob there it is a connected so here i draw the proper shape for so the knob will be having the tuning screw i can say which is further connected to the sleeve here and inside there it is a movable shorting plunger here and surrounding to this movable shorting plunger there it is the cavity space here a rectangular cavity we can say first of all for the waveguide here and this will be having the circular shape here now the movement of this plunger can be with the mechanical type here by the tuning sleeve here and here inside the intersection between the rectangular waveguide cavity and the cavity of this particular frequency meter in general we can say here it is the coupling hole so at the coupling hole the interaction of the energies that have a flow from port 1 to the port 2 can be noted here so such a meter with the help of the tuning screw whatever we make the changes to have the resonance occurred inside this particular cavity here the calibrated scales will be there which will give you the exact value of the frequency so this is the mechanical assembly for the very first topic we have also shown you the practical schematic diagram how exactly such a frequency meter device will be looking there so this is the frequency meter frequency meter or the frequency measurement the actual assembly while we use in the practical setup so i hope it is very clear how to have the measurement of the frequencies the various ways can be there so by the next lecture we continue into the same chapter to address the next topic called as introduction to wave meter so i hope for more such information and the details regarding the subject microwave engineering you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you